Hi everyone, my name's Tom and I'm the Maths Man. And in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate how to divide an integer by a fraction. So if you don't know what an integer is, it just means a whole number. So as you can see here in the question, we have three divided by three quarters and the three is a whole number, so it's an integer. Um, and what we're going to do to solve these questions is we're going to use this system, which is C, F, M. So the C stands for change. The F stands for flip. And the M stands for multiply. So let me show you how we use the CFM system to make calculations like this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the integer into an improper fraction. So three whole ones as an improper fraction is going to be three over one. Okay. Watch the next example as well, which will help you um, to understand exactly what that means, if you're confused by that. Then we're going to flip the second fraction. So this three quarters, we're going to flip it. So the three is going to become the denominator and the four is going to become the numerator. So it's going to be four over three. And then the final thing we're going to do is we're going to change the divide into a multiply because we've flipped these if we multiply them it'll be the same as dividing them that's just a funny thing about how maths works so now if i just go ahead and work this so three times four gives me 12 and then we have one times three which is three and then that is my final answer which is 12 over three but that is as an improper fraction. And if I wanted to change that to a mixed number, it would be four whole ones. So that might be a little bit confusing because the answer that I have is larger than the number that I was dividing. And that's just the weird thing about fractions. When you divide an integer by a fraction, you almost always end up with a larger number than what you started with. So if you do get an answer like that, it's not that you're wrong. That's just what it is. Let's do another example. So in this second and final example, we have 12 divided by two thirds. So the integer in this question is the 12 and the fraction is the two thirds. So the first thing I need to do is to change the integer into an improper fraction. So 12 will become 12 over 1. So 12 whole ones is the same as 12 over 1. Then we're going to flip the fraction. So 2 thirds will become 3 over 2. And then we're going to change the div division sign into a multiplication. And that's going to give us 12 times 3. That's going to give us 36. And then we're going to do 1 times 2, which is 2. So again, this is um, there's two things left to do here, actually. So I could leave my answer like this, and it is technically correct, but um, also it's not in its simplest form, so in its lowest form. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I'm going to simplify this. So 36 over 2, if I divide both of these two numbers by 2, so if I half both of the numbers, the 36 turns into an 18, and the 2 will turn into a 1. So 36 over 2 is the same as 18 over 1. They're both equivalent. But if I want to go a step further, which most teachers will want you to, and to write this as a mixed number, it's just 18 whole ones. And there we go. I've divided an integer by a fraction there. And notice again, the answer that I get is larger than the number that I started with. But that's supposed to happen.
Thanks for watching this video. If you have learned something, then please smash that like button down below. And if you'd like to see more maths videos by a qualified teacher, then hit the subscribe button. I release videos weekly and hopefully I'll catch you in the next video.